advantage, you can. All right, Scanlan. I'm a weak uh, ass uh, I wanted to do four things. Yeah. One, Drop I composed an epic poem to commemorate uh, the rebels rising up against the empire that had kept them down for so long. Uh, oh no. Sort of a force that had awakened. <laughs> <laughs> I call it Resident Evil. I don't know why. <laughs> because they're residents and there was evil, I couldn't come up with another name for it. The residents of the town, and there was an evil. Right, oh, truly. Yeah, that's all I, so I'm looking for a publisher. Okay, good, good. There may, there may be a grand opportunity at the Winter's Crest Festival to perform this, so. Oh. <laughs> uh, Disney and Capcom will be calling you. <laughs> uh, uh, I also wanted to make sure that we were using the treasury, uh, coordinating with Percy to open a library for the people to help them rebuild their place, which sounds like Vax is already on. Uh, I also commissioned a portrait uh, uh, of myself. Uh, I don't know if you, I found a young artisan in town and I paid him some coin to, to paint me uh, something that could possibly hang and keep uh, Grayskull in the dining room. Okay, uh, you, you do find, you've, uh, you, after asking around for a few days, you managed to discover that there is a, a budding local artist who doesn't really believe in his artwork. He currently works in the stables on the far southwest side of town. Um, like but pe people, people have you know, seen some of his work and trying to bolster him, so you're sent in his direction, and as you get to there, you can see him. He's currently in the process of actually cutting through one of his recent works that he wasn't happy with, and he's kind of violently tearing through it. And as you step into the, uh, the stable, it. he kind of stops and puts it off to the side. Sorry, sir, can I help you? Uh, hello, uh, my name is Scanlan Shortholt. Uh, I was the leader of the rebellion that just uh, defeated Lord and Lady Briarwood. Oh, uh, well, but the pleasure was mine. Well, he, put, he was now averting his gaze and almost like bowing his head like a royalty. He seems very flustered and, and flushed by the sudden appearance. I, uh, I hear you are a budding artist and I'm, I'm a, if nothing else, a supporter of the arts. I have my my talents are far unrefined and and, and nowhere near uh, powerful or, or decent enough for your intentions. Well, I believe in you, uh, and I need you for a very important commission. Uh, <laughs> I uh, to, a great good has been done here by the rebels, by the townspeople. Uh, with the help of Vox Machina, and of course, with the help of Vox Machina's leader, myself. <laughs> and therefore, I'm here to commission a humble portrait of myself. <laughs> uh, you may not know him, but there was a folk hero in my town growing up. His name was Fabio. He would frequently pose with wind-blown hair and an open shirt on a horse. I was thinking something like that. And also I have this figure of Pike. She's a friend of mine. I'd like her on the back of the horse, arms around my waist, looking just super hot. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> make, your, make your persuasion check. <laughs> Only because he's so down on his own skills. 33. <laughs> as you're telling this tale, as, you, as you're telling this tale, he goes from, from bashful and meek to staring off in the distance, the artistic inspiration kind of rolling through his head. Yeah. No, 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 oh, sorry, 31, 31. I was wrong. Honesty. Un unchanged. <laughs> he, he begins finishing your sentences as you're, as you're describing scenery and extrapolating on it. You can see the artistic mind is definitely spinning, and he looks to you and goes, it would be my honor. Please, and he reaches forward and kind of takes your gnomish hand, and you know, you're, you're about two and a half feet shorter than him, but he's like still very humble, kneels down and says, I would be honored to do this portrait. No charge. Please, I insist. I must give you something for your troubles. Uh, whatever you deem fit, Sir Gnome, but I, uh... What's your name, youngster? Uh, Jameson. Jameson. <laughs> Jameson. I like him. I like this guy. <laughs> I think everybody does. Yeah. Uh, Until they tell. I will, uh, how about in, in return? Oh, yeah. I will... Sing your praises. <laughs> Far and wide is the greatest artist in, uh, where are we? Whitestone, White, <laughs> Whiteheart, Briarstone, Hartwood. <laughs> in making that mention, 
his openness suddenly closes off and he withdraws. You see this fear in his eyes, and he kind of shakes his head, going, oh, "That that 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 would be, that would be untrue, and and would. I am I am but a simple stable hand. I I can do this for you, but please, if you could keep this between us." All right, I'm uh, I'm aware that some people like to be discreet about things, and that's all right with me too. Then I'll just I'll I'll pay you the going rate for portraits of me. Certainly. <laughs> how, how large would you like it? Uh, how big is the wall at Greystone? <laughs> it depends on which area. Like oh, some, some of the ceilings go on the dining room wall. <laughs> so I'll do That's all. about. That's <laughs> like sixty <laughs> chapels. Yeah, the, the, your dining area is probably about <laughs> twelve to fifteen feet high. This high? Ceiling. Okay, and wide? A wide. Uh, I'd say, <sighs> off the top of my head, somewhere between. 40, 50 <laughs> Well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to leave room for other artwork as well. <laughs> so we'll say 20 by 6. <laughs> 20 by 6? By 6? Well, it's half and half. <laughs> his, his, his eyes... 20 wide, 6 high. His eyes go wide and yes. he kind of nods and says, this is a challenge. But I believe I, I do know someone who could, I could order such a... a Grand canvas from. This can be done. This can be done. And you see he smiles for a minute, kind of takes your hand once again. Oh my God. This can be done. Thank you, sir. J Jameson, was it? Jameson, yes. You have done a noble deed <laughs> for your people <laughs> and for the rebel forces. Eclipsed by the deeds you have done, so no. Oh, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> he rushes off to prepare himself. Uh, and then uh, one last thing. Yes. On a serious note, I do some research to see if me or anyone in my party could, over time and with great uh, effort, um, learn the skills required to utilize a teleportation circle. Okay. Um, go ahead and make an arcana check. Not great. <laughs> arcana? Yeah, should be pretty good. Eleven. Thing. Yeah. Um, what little you know of teleportation-based magics, which is not your forte and your bardic experiences, but what you've heard and what you've seen, so you know, while you were traveling with Tiberius and you've come across other individuals that use the arcane spells uh, that you know cause transport, um, teleportation circles themselves is a very specific ritual. It is a spell that comes from within the arcane caster's capabilities. If you yourself do not have that, you're not going to be able to utilize it uh, at the drop of a hat. You also, asking around, find that there was once a teleportation destination, cir destination circle in Castle Whitestone that was part of the network of Taldore in Iman, but has since been destroyed and sundered and has been for quite some time. You imagine probably when the Briarwoods came, it was deemed uh, a